Good morning. We've got our eggs a cake left over from last night for breakfast. Okay, this is not gonna work. We need new eggs a cake, hold on. All right, we've got brand new eggs and cake for breakfast. Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna have diabetes. Okay. Okay. I have a say there's a trolley on a track. Head three of those five people are vegetable. There's a switch you can throw that will shut down a meatpacking facility that is located down the road. Unfortunately, the switch will also prevent the train from stopping because, wait, I may have reversed something. Recalibrating. There are too many variables. Okay, let's return to the switch. I need more data first, and I need more process. Look, 512 would be Okay, this is annoying because they're not sorted. If they were sorted, you could just get them. This exapunk is going to read one number at a time and then launch a new exapunk for each number. So we're going to grab 300 mark loop copy F to X so we get the number out. Oh, uh, test EOF, uh, if it's true, we go to done, we copy F to X, we REPL go, 
and then jump loop. At done, we halt. At go, well, we do a bunch of stuff. So at go, we link 800, link 800. Oh, we can't get back. Okay, I misunderstood. The hell is this? Like these links don't have numbers. How do I get to these other places? Every room is 800 to go forward. Is that true? Let's try it. Let's try another link 800 and see, let's see what happens when we exit punk that. Okay, yeah. All right. That's fine then. Okay, so. We link 800 twice. We. Okay. We're gonna have to make a file so we remember what the hell this is goofy. We're gonna make a file. Let's make it before we even go exit hunting at all. Cause we need we need to remember things. So we're gonna make a file. We're going to uh, copy X to F. We're going to uh, I Okay, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, I mod mod i x uh, 100 into t or into f just straight into f so f is going to have now let's 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 add the 200 and put that in f okay x still has the top digits after we did that um, we're going to uh, div i x uh, 100 x. We're going to link two. And now we're going to say um, sub i. No. Uh, mark forward. You know what? We need this number. We'll put X. Put X in F as well. This is gonna be really funny what we do here. Okay, copy X to F. So we've got the last two digits. We've got the number of steps. 
Just wait till you see what we're gonna exit punk next. Okay, so to go forward, we uh, test, uh, we're already in this room at least. So if X equals one, T jump uh, found. Otherwise we sub I X one X uh, link 800. Uh, jump forward. Okay, Mark found. Now we need to seek minus one in our file. Copy F to X. Now we have the last two digits or the last three digits. Oh, because we already added the 200. So we actually just say grab, oh, copy F to X. Oh, we can't. So you can't grab more than one file at a time. So I was going to grab this. and copy it into my thing and then wipe out the first two entries, but we can't do that. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna have to make another exit punk. I hope these rooms don't fill up. So we're going to make another exit punk. We're still going to be holding the file. Okay. We're going to uh, REPL reader. Oh, we're going to go mode local. We're going to REPL a reader. We're going to um, go into a loop and actually, yeah. So we're going to go into a loop here where, uh, where we say copy X to M. No, copy M to X, test X equals minus one, um, T jump output done, copy X to F, jump output, mark output done. Um, well, then we seek minus nine, 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 nine. We, uh, is it called void? We remove the first thing, which was our number. We uh, read the second one, which is how many steps we have to go back. So uh, copy F to X, seek minus one, void F. Now we have only the file because we've d deleted all our stuff from it. Um, we have to link minus one twice, and then um, test x equals one, uh, t jump exiting done, uh, link minus one, sub i x one x, oh, I forgot some sub i's in my loops, didn't I? Yes, uh, jump exiting. Uh, and that's it. Mark exiting done is halt. We still have to write our reader here, but like, dude, copy X to F. Oh no, that's fine. Dude, I don't remember half this program already. I just typed it. 
Now we got our sub eyed here. I don't know, I always forget either the subtract or the jump in a loop. That's just how it goes. Okay, so we gotta make our reader. This guy has the book number in X and supposedly when you fork, the new guy is not holding a file. So uh, we're gonna grab X and just do a loop. Um, mark uh, sending test uh, EOF T jump sending done uh, copy F to M jump sending mark sending done uh, copy minus one to M and halt. So my only worry about this whole plan is like, what if we start out putting files while other exapunks are still transiting? Cause we need two guys in the room. Some of these rooms only have three spaces. I don't know. I already screwed up stuff way more basic than that, but I'm sure. Okay. Okay, so these guys must be working. Why is this guy shaking like he has a disease? XA20. File ID not found. His X is 2. He doesn't. Okay. I wish it would show the frickin' instruction that he died on right now, so I didn't have to step. Because, like, the, there's no breakpoint system in this. It's horrible. Okay, so... Two zero must be the reader that I forked. So, um, he's supposed to be looking for a number greater than 200, and in X... He certainly doesn't, so uh, we screwed that up. Let's just see. So that'll be XA2, right? XA2 has a file. He's looking for 206, two rooms in. That's correct. So, um, Okay, before before he goes and exapunks to reader. Well. Okay, this needs to be seek minus two, I think. Right? We're just getting the, the wrong number. Or really minus 9999, because like, we just want the first number out of the file. Okay, XA20 gets exapunct, gets the file. Okay, um, we got a bunch of files back. But they're not the right ones. Or what? Let's see. 404. The New History of Morality. These look right. Oh wait, we've got some numbers that we don't want. Or no, there's numbers at the start of the books. Mine don't have a number at the start. Wait, what? So New History of Morality is supposed to have 
the 171 at the beginning. But it does, wait, what? How am I missing that number? Am I voiding? I'm voiding too many things. The source books do, do have these numbers. All right. How am I, how am I X avoiding too many things? Let's take a look. Let's just follow our X A two zero. So we exapunk this guy. And then So he's grabbing the file. And I want to see the file. Let me access see the file. All right, well, we'll put them back over here so we can access see the file. So, okay, we actually want to look at XA2. Oh, right, because we read the first digit, our first thing is going to go over the second digit. So we only have one at the start of the file. And, okay, we don't need to void anything. Because we get two copies of this number. So before we start writing... Where do we... Okay, here's where we exit punk to reader. Okay, that didn't exit punk correctly. Wait, how did we get fewer books this time? This guy didn't come, they didn't. Oh, dude, we don't need to remember how many steps to go back. We just go minus one until we die. I was trying to be fancy and store the number of steps. Wow, this may be all way more complicated than we need. So what happened is I forgot that I needed that number in the file, but we don't really need it. Here's what we do. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Three, six, nine, eleven. Okay, so still not everything. How am I missing the number? Did I not delete a void? Oh, we've still got a void. No, 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 no. Why am I still voiding? That is exapunking right there.
Yeah, we could have done it with a much shorter program because we didn't. So this number of steps that we wrote into the file, let's let's clean this up a little bit. The number of steps that we wrote into the file, we don't need. Um, right? Yeah. Well, that only saves us one instruction, so that's not going to drop us super far in size. All right. Um, we probably don't need the file at all. Yeah, okay, this is stupid. We don't need the file yet. Because since we didn't need it to save more than one number, then what we can do is uh, the following. We can do all sorts of things to be better, right? Okay. Let's first of all, we're gonna put, we're gonna put dividing x by 100 into t. We're gonna remove a link. So t has the number of forwards. So for room one, it's got one. And then, so we don't have to run a test because T jump and F jump test T. So we don't test. We say if T is zero, go to found. We subtract and we link 800. That's gonna cost us a little bit in cycle, but eh, maybe not, because we don't test. Anyway, um, we sub from T. Okay, so now we're still exit punking. Okay. But now, okay, because we're not using X for this forward loop, we can, um, put this Okay, the, we got to do the T computation first. And then we do the 200 thing. And then we do the seek forward by T. And then we don't do this. We don't do this seek. There's no number in the file, so we don't do this seek. Look at all this exapunking that we're doing. Okay, our program's still pretty big compared to some people. Let's uh, let's copy it. Fifty-eight to fifty-one. That's pretty good. Um, I mean, this we could certainly make this shorter. But. Like, come on, that's the most direct solution there. I mean, we can just make that a loop that never, we don't even need a conditional in there, right? I mean, I could just say jump output done here. Um, and that would give us nine instructions less. I see how I could save some instructions on my execution time by like 
launching an exit punk and whatever, but eh, eh, it's not really, I don't really care. I don't really care. I don't really care. Okay. Okay, this mode... Oh, I guess I do need that. Okay. I mean, I can go faster by unrolling these copy loops, just like we did in all those other programs, but I don't care. That's stupid. You know, we might as well go for program size. Because if we're not going to unroll all this stuff, then we're not going to care. So now our cycle count is going to go up because we're not blasting backward as fast. But now we're not as big and giant a program. So some people really got substantially shorter programs, right? Well, not, not tremendously, but like... We're at 45, uh, 30, 35% smaller. That's a lot. Instead of counting the file, instead of being smart like that, you could just launch an exit punk every single time. That doesn't really save that many instructions, but you could just say, go to every room, launch a guy that goes to the next room who will die if there is no next room, and grab the file and go back. is fine. I feel like there must be a faster way to copy files. Like in fewer instructions. I don't know. I don't know. What are some good snacks? Eggs a cake. He's in a moon colony. Each radio station. How do I get? Modem control at the direct level.
dial register that takes one digit at a time. And then you link 800. Let's just make sure this works. So we're going to link 800. I guess this is the length of the number. Copy. All right, let's not do this yet. It's going to be typing so many manual copies into dial that we're just going to dial. So here we go. We're going to. Grab 301. Okay. We're going to do the following. We're going to mark loop. We're gonna, uh, it's a prime number, it's 11 digits. Come on, guys. No, that's fine. So if we're out of stuff, then we go to done. Otherwise, we REPL uh, receive number we go into local mode, we receive the number and then we send the number, we go Copy FM eleven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then uh, jump war dialer. Okay. When the war dialer is done, we're just gonna halt when that's done. We will have more to do later. Oh, actually, we'll drop 301, grab 300. Let's just, let's just do it all. Mode global. I think we're going to have to wait for people to dial. I don't know. Anyway, then we will uh, copy FM, copy FM, and halt. We're gonna broadcast the song to all our dudes. Okay, mark receive number is gonna be link 800. Copy. M dial 11 times. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Link eight hundred. And then I think we have to hang up. So later. Copy minus one. Okay, here's my problem. Ah! This thing that I just typed about broadcasting the number isn't going to work. We don't do this. Instead, when we receive number, we say 
Brad 300, copy FX, copy FT. So uh, drop 300. So we have the info and then we go out and we do the thing. Insert it at the beginning of each playlist. Okay. We're just gonna put it at the end to start with. Because this is a pain in the ass. And then, and then we'll swap it to the beginning. All right. So we link 800. We uh, copy, uh, grab 200, seek 9999, copy uh, XF, copy TF. Okay. So this is still wrong. I mean, it's probably wrong by more than I think, but. Uh, So we have an exapunk waiting for a number. Uh, nobody is. Oh, he's in local mode. Right, we're in local mode. We actually don't need local mode because we're only sending out one number at a time. All right. See this one? Oh yeah. Okay, so there we go. That's good. Okay. So now we have to swap these entries. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to seek to the beginning. What a pain in the ass. There's got to be a better way to do it. Yeah, there is. Okay. So we seek to the beginning of the file. Okay, we seek to the end of the file. We put our stuff there. We seek to the beginning of the file. We grab the stuff. We seek to the end of the file. Right, we seek minus four. We get back our X and T that we had. Okay, there's gonna be a faster way to exit punk this. We just make another, we make another guy in our room. Notice these rooms have two spaces. We're not gonna do it yet. We're gonna make it work this way. There's a lot of instructions. I think that'll do it.
Okay, hold on. So this seek minus two is not right. Actually, the one before it. This should be seek minus three. Wait. Because we didn't we didn't copy Alondra Berry to the end. Ah, this is supposed to be copy TF, not copy XT. I hope somebody spotted that error. Ah! Don't exapunk me, bro. this and voiding that. There we go. And then we hang up. Oh. We have to drop, drop, actually no, you know what, we just do this. So 200, these all have it. Oh, my last guy didn't hang up the phone. All right. We do have to go back. Try having guys clean up after themselves. Nope, they're all going to the same. I think the problem is Drop. So like, do you not go through the link if you're holding the file still? So XA1 is just sitting there. Yeah, so the problem is now this doesn't happen fast. Okay, we're going back to our old plan. We're gonna halt. Well, we just drop off the end of the program. So the problem is nobody hangs up the last number, but that's fine. War dial are done here. Oh. I need a way to just hang up the last one. Or I need to transact my files faster, which also could happen.
let's clean this up because we can make this better but because this is experimental we'll go here so instead of doing all this spam where we copy it to the end of the file and then go back and forth and all that then you just while you've got this stuff in your registers you just make another exit punk So we go uh, REPL writer. The writer knows what to write because he has the right values. Actually, yeah, he has the right values already. So what we do is we copy, we grab the file, we seek, we copy XF, no, we don't copy FF, we seek to, we don't seek at all, we grab the values into the file, into our registers, which destroys our knowledge of what to put it at the beginning. We seek to the end, we put them at the end, We drop and we halt. Now, actually, uh, ooh, I need a junk register. No, I don't, because there's an instruction about like, would you be ready to read? What is that one? This is scary. This is a scary instruction I've never used. Test MRD. So writer, how oh, it, it's probably better if we block. I mean, we'll save CPU if we block, but oh. Uh, Okay, actually, um, this guy can actually now go hang up. So we're going to see if this guy will hang up in time. He's going to link minus one. There. I don't know if that's going to be faster enough, but uh, maybe. So this guy, actually, here we go. We copy zero to M. What happens if I add an integer to a string register? Oh, no, here's what we do. We grab, oh, uh, we don't have a file. Yeah, all right. Test MRD. Uh, we just busy wait there until we can get the thing. Now we grab 200. We put these things in the top of the file. And that's it, we just die. Something like that. Oh, we didn't do that correctly.
let's see what's going on there. Okay, this guy exit punks in, grabs. Actually, we could launch a guy, you know, I didn't need to really do this cleanup. I mean, it's good for moral purposes to do this cleanup, but I could have just launched a guy whose job is to go hang up while I'm in here. Like, I don't need to keep the line open while I'm doing this. Okay, so what the hell am I doing? So we're putting the first two. Okay, Exapunk00 zero zero didn't... What happened with X is zero zero? Test MRD. Oh, you know, testing destroys our thing anyway. You know what, just, yeah. Let's make this orthogonal. We don't, let's go back to our thing that basically works. Okay. This one, we link 800, we REPL hang up. Here, we mark hang up, we link minus one, copy minus one, dial halt. Okay. It looks like we're okay. These files are still intact. I guess those don't matter. Um, Oh God, it's not good enough. Okay. It's not good enough. You have to keep the rest of the file in the same order. I was trying to be fast. I was trying to be fast and like swap. Because what you would do if you don't care about the order is you're gonna write over the first two items and you just swap the first two to the last two because I don't care what order the other songs get played in. But apparently this game cares. That's fine. We just have to exapunk it slightly differently. We have to write another reader and writer loop like we've already done 734 times in this game. <sighs> All right, so we launch our hang up guy. We don't do any of this. We REPL hang up, we grab 200, and then we REPL writer. Hopefully the grab gives us enough time for this other guy to leave so that we can make another REPL. Otherwise we have to know op there. Um, we REPL writer, and then uh, as the reader, we test EOF, uh, T jump reader done, copy F to M, jump reader, mark reader done, copy minus one to M and halt, okay. Wow, this is ass. Because we need to make a temporary copy and copy it back.
That's really the fastest thing to do. Like you could... Like any loop that tries to do it in place in the file that I could think of is just gonna take way longer than this. Okay, so this guy, Okay, we don't quite want to halt here because we have to do a whole other thing, but um, let's just get this in. This isn't really reader and writer. Whatever. Mark writer. Uh, make. Copy M to X, test X equals minus one. T jump writer done. Copy X to F jump writer. Okay, so this is not what we want yet, but this should give us a spare file with the correct result. Oh, no, not yet, because we have to put We have to put our values into the file before we do the rest. Okay. So now here, this 400. Ugh. Wait, what? I really exapunked that one up. Okay, we grab it. We make an exapunk. going in the wrong direction. Wait, no. XA01. Okay, this is fine so far. How did we get a four? Oh, we're not in mode local. Deleted the mode local. Ass. Ass. Okay. Um. Mode. All right. So this file, for example, let's just fast forward it. All right. This file now has. this file okay it has all the stuff so now we copy it the frick back into the other thing so here's what we do as the reader We go seek minus nine, 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 nine. We could probably try to reuse this code and like cross whatever, but we're not going to do it. We always know that this is longer, so we don't have to avoid anything. Uh, 
Okay. And then this guy, after he's done writing, can go, we seek back, and then we do our reader. We're going to call this rereader. Mark rereader done. Wipe halt. Okay, we didn't exapunk that correctly. Um, XA1, they're not dropping? Oh, the rereader has to send a minus one. That's some exit punking right there. Okay, we've got a pretty big program and a lot of activity, but you know, we did okay in cycles. Are the puzzles repetitive? They are getting a little repetitive. Have I finished Steven Sausage Roll? Yes, I have finished Steven Sausage Roll two and a half times. The Sausage Tower puzzle has an elegant solution. It's not brute force, necessarily. You can also brute force it. It's almost time to go to work, but we'll do a little more. Okay, what? Each host contains a list of restaurants and their ratings from one to five stars. times to move east. Okay. Let's just make, let's just get there. This doesn't seem that hard. Okay, we're going to grab 300, seek one. Copy. Actually, here's what we do. We're gonna 
Repo Easter. We're going to broadcast this. We're going to broadcast um, this. We're going to seek that. We're going to broadcast the file name. And then we halt. Easter goes east or west. So, copy X, or copy M to X. Okay, if x is greater than zero, we link 802, we sub i x 1x. not less than zero we're done otherwise we link 800 add i x 1 x jump okay so that should get us to the proper east west position now we need the north south position do the same damn thing copy m to x Link uh, 801. Now it's done. Link 803. Okay, well, we grab, uh, we grab 200, we copy M to X, that is now um, the name of the restaurant. Now we need to search for that restaurant. So, uh, mark search uh, test x equals f uh, t jump found otherwise we need to seek past all the stars seek five jump search uh, found we need to read the first star which is uh, copy F to X, and then we put four more. Copy X to F, copy X to F, copy X to F, copy X to F, and that's it. Okay, it didn't work the first time. Oh, we didn't link 800 before we did any of this stuff. <laughs> okay. We've got to go into the grid. Okay, that didn't work. Well, okay, we went to the right east position.
it's not greater it's not less so we get the next number which should be minus 1 okay Wait, is this is wrong? Wait, it's it, it's minus one. Oh God, my numbers are all wrong. I was thinking this is north. I didn't look at the n. Oh God! All right, all right. East is eight oh one. And west is 803. And north is 800. And south is 802. There we go. Sometimes, if you want to exapunk correctly, you just change the numbers around. Wow, everybody did it with a smaller program than me, but. Oh, you know why? I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, I certainly do spend a lot of time branching there. Instead of hard coding the numbers, I could do some kind of like... I don't know. I don't know. What is my approach to state management in games? Transitioning from intro to menu screen, then to game. I mean, that's too simple to care about. <laughs> Did we finish Hadean Lands? No, we couldn't quite tough through to the end. All right. We're going to look at what this puzzle is, but we're not going to solve it because it's time for me to go to work and do actual work. Oh God, dude, these hacker battle things are stupid. I don't like them. You must control a majority of the host for as long as possible. Take control of a host, write any value to its control register.
Wait, how do I get across this link? I guess that's also 800 minus one. I don't know. Oh no, the asymmetry of this thing. Yeah, we're not gonna do this right now. The asymmetry of this thing makes it annoying and I don't even know. All right, let's just find out. Let's find the information, but not try to solve it. So, Say zero linked 800 and now oh 800 is always forward that makes it easy are stupid. I wasn't even going to solve it. I don't know how to do the... Is this Damien now? No, it's the same guy. Whatever. I don't know how to pick. Hey, sorry, I haven't been things they promoted me to me. You like I remember I used she sent me this looks fun. I thought maybe you always were it's okay, bye for now. What's this level? Regain control of your left hand. So, three nerve signals, muscle control, heat and pressure. I mean, this seems pretty easy. 
You just have three guys run back and forth all the time, right? You just go link 800 link. Oh, uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. I was supposed to go to work and now I'm doing this. I mean, you could try to do network communication, but we're just gonna do this for now. Because you have to synchronize the... We're just going to make this work. Oh. Yeah, the... Well, it shouldn't... I think the output numbers have to be synced with each other. Like some of these guys are faster than others, like P is the slowest one. I mean, you could have them exapunk to go travel. The problem with that is there maybe aren't enough boxes for all these guys. Because if I try to exapunk and travel while two other guys are trying to go through my square, that's not going to be good. So we're just going to do this. We're going to copy nerve to X. We're going to go one, two, three, four five, six, six minus threes. Six minus threes. All right, exit punk. Well, it didn't work for some reason. Uh, I have no P outputs. Okay. Whoa, these guys are going the wrong direction. Hold on. Okay, no, they went the right direction. So P is XA0. He has an X. Two, three. Four. 
five, six, seven. He needs one more. He's not going far enough. He needs eight. I did not count correctly. Exapunk. Yeah, so if you do this with networking, You don't have to have all this program spam, right? Ah, I don't want to do it with networking right now. I mean, what you would do is you launch a guy who goes this way. He repels as a guy goes this way. You read, you send, this guy goes, and then this guy reads and goes a couple in sense it's like eh, it's probably a lot less instructions but it's not as it's not as parallel but there's not all the latency from running back and forth so it's probably faster anyway but like I said I got to go to work dude three month subs that's crazy how good do I think this is compared to other Zactronics games um I like almost all of the other Zactronics games better. Uh, I think this is better than Space Chem. Um, but I like Opus Magnum better than this. I like TIS 100 better than this. I like Infinifactory better than this. I like um, uh, Shenzhen IO better than this. But it's interesting. You think your networking solution was very simple and nice. Yeah, I mean, you know, the problem is, of course, I mean, if you use no ops to sync the networking, that could work. You just, you know, you need to make sure that things are read and written in the same order. So like, if I know that this gets sent and then this gets sent, and then this gets sent or whatever. That That is probably the fastest thing. Yeah. So you would have, you'd have th three exapunks on each side and you would use no ops to like schedule the messaging. I think. Yeah. Can't you encode messages and put it in M for consumption without traveling? Totally you can. The, the question is just, you have to make sure the right person gets it in the right order, right? You can't just, because there's multiple people reading. Yeah. All right, everybody. Let's see if we can host somebody who doesn't have subscriber only chat. Wow, there's a guy named, or girl named Stinking Banana with eight viewers. Who's much earlier in the game. We're gonna go send you over to Stinking Banana. And I'll see y'all later.